It is a fairly cold day today. And I've already looked in this one and saw all these ballasts and lights. So I got the truck pulled up. A lot of this is probably going to be empty, but grab what we can. Might as well open up the top on this. is mostly all plastic and that's tinned wire which really does me no good business cards. Okay, got some digging out to do here. Uh-oh. The kitchen stuff's starting to go. That means they're getting to the end of the line. There's a they cleaned out of their office credit card swiper I don't know if a lot of people remember those actually probably a lot of people from my channel do so this is a luminaire retrofit kit so I think I really don't want to deal with the cardboard let's see if I can get all this out so that is plastic Oh, I cut up all these bands. Yeah, I'll just deal with that. Off camera. I gotta get to the bottom of this because this is a new dumpster to me. Or, well, yeah, new in that. It's been emptied since I've been here. So all the... new stuff that I pulled out of here. All the lights and crap like this. Um, it has not been selling. I've been putting really cheap prices on it. And it just, uh, it's just not going. You know, and this kind of stuff like this, I think this is all bulbs. I mean, I hate that that gets thrown away. I can try flipping it for cheap has a whole lot, you know, a few bucks just so they don't just get wasted, but it really is not worth the time and energy to do that. Seems uh, there's a lot of water down there. I gotta watch that. Okay, so. There's some more. Yeah, those are floodlights. I could actually probably use those myself if they're the proper base. Yeah, some more of those. Oh man, there's a lot of water in this one. Okay, so all these globes, not... Yeah, I'm just not... Oh man, there's so many keep saying I'm not going to deal with them, but look at that. Just... So 
the bottom is soaking wet. I'm not going to take the ones from the bottom. Nope. <laughs> Fancy box. Candle. Base. That's gonna fall over, I know it. Alright, that's enough. Um just I'm up to my eyeballs and light bulbs. Let's see if I'm more. Yeah, these are just I can't deal with them all. Not gonna happen. Find some more metal in here. So that is plastic. I don't want that. things. Maybe I can sell them as a lot. Wire. Okay. Yep, all the uh, kitchen stuff. I don't think I'm going to be finding too much in this anymore until the uh, start working on the building and tearing out whatever they need to for potential new tent. All light bulbs, all stuff I just don't need to deal with. I think more business cards. Decent number one right there. Yep, more decorative light bulbs. Okay, so this whole section goes down at the bottom. More of those. Want them. A little wire. More of these. Even more of those. I mean, we have a salvage store, I guess. One that I go to, and um. You know what, instead of, if I can't sell these, what I'll do, since I frequent that place a lot, is I will just um, give them to them, let them sell them, repurpose them. And uh, that way at least the ones that I take don't end up back in the trash before they're used anyway. And I don't, I'll bet you that's just, yeah, those are them. Is that just lights? Yeah. Okay, so that's that, that's that. This stuff. That's not. That's just plastic, plastic. Alright, that's it for this one. Not a whole lot. I was definitely expecting a bit more when I pulled up. Since those lights were right up top, but I'll take what I can get. And then I got all that. Here's a nice piece of metal outside and nothing inside. So at least there's the one piece I can grab. I'll take that with me. 
All right, so I jumped in this one because I just saw a little bit of this sticking out. And sure enough, it's, you know, a good pound and a half. Um, that is all trash. This was the goodie bag, but other than lots of dust, See a little bit more wire. I think that is it. Yeah. The rest of that was all string. And I saw these. Man, that's loud. Don't know if they hold air, but I've got a dolly without wheels. And I want to at least see if these work. And if they don't, they got metal in them. So that's that. So it's a Cat wire kind of day. Saw all this in here. And that is cat wire as well. Let's get this out. even has some in it there is still I just gotta find the mark yeah it's 328 feet on there and that's a box a thousand so I'll unspool that off camera I don't want the cardboard at home so grab the rest of this so yeah between that and that that is, uh, that's probably 15 pounds of cat wire at um, buck 50 a pound, so not too bad. Let's make sure all these boxes are empty. And this one has more in it. And I don't know if this is just wet. Usually it has some kind of power cord or something in those little boxes. This one here, that is also mostly full. That's another six pounds. Nice. Hopefully the other one comes out just like that. And no, I don't resell this stuff. It's just, I've tried in the past. And it's so low to buy this stuff on Facebook that there have been a couple of times where I almost bought it just to scrap it because people are selling this stuff that cheap. That one's empty. The weight in this box is all water. Yeah, and trash. So that is it. But not a bad score at all. That more than pays for my gas and then some. Okay, I've already obviously started on this one. I didn't see too much, but now that I'm starting to pull stuff out, it is looking like it's going to be more than I thought. I'm going to dump all this out. That's yeah, just a wet, soggy mess. There's a bunch over there as well. That's some moving around to do. I think in another video I mentioned taking the bar off of this, but I'm just not feeling it today. my truck up to the sides over here so just toss it over the side oh. yeah 
got to watch paint on this one. Almost got that all over me. So I got to watch where I step now. anything under there and cover that with that oh there's paint all over this yeah look at so yeah I'm staying away from there and this stuff not sure exactly what that is it kind of looks like cat wire covered in paint it's got to go. down here I've seen before. into the paint. So that's about as far as I'm gonna go. I don't see anything else really worth going after. Grab these two little bits. That one happens to be full of wire. So I think that is gonna do it. Grab the stuff over here and on the other side and head out. This one, they already left the doors open. I don't know how much digging around I'm gonna do on all this drywall. But there's definitely a few odd ends to grab out of here. That's some heavy ballast inside that light.
don't think I'm gonna grab too much of that stuff that's all bent. I've got all that wire in the back and that will just, that'll just drive me insane for the little amount that I get out of it. This stuff doesn't get tangled up too much. I want that sink. but it's coming with me regardless. Um, that's on a two by four. So that's staying. all this little stuff for I uh, bury it that junk too much more. I know there's probably quite a bit more down here, but yeah, it's just so much crap and dust and I just, sometimes it's just not worth it.
hung up on too much now. And it is stainless. But that might make a perfect outside sink for our planters area. I've been looking for something exactly like that, so that probably won't even get scrapped. So there's not too much else under this. stuck on it so I'll grab these last couple of pieces in my bucket I think that's gonna be it in here I'll probably do another quick sweep off camera but uh, nothing worthy of videoing that's for sure all right so this one always has just odds and ends in it, but I saw that box and I'm hoping that I can use it. Now it's in good shape and it is nice. Another scrapping box to replace the ones that have, uh... yeah, people are ripping these open. I'm, I'm definitely chasing behind somebody. But, um... You never know what they're looking for. They'll just be looking for resellable goods. And, um, that's a cat house. Outside cat house. Those things, though, they've got cat scent on them. And I think I can smell it um, from being pissed in. But, yeah, they got cat scent on them. So, you know, a lot of times stray cats won't even use those things because there's so much of a scent from other animals. But, uh, yeah, at least I got my box. Okay, so got this sitting here next to this open top on my way home. May as well grab it. Yeah, it's all magnetic. Even the drum, so as you can see, I got quite the mess back here. I think I'm just gonna put it on here and then uh, roll it in but for now luckily it's not too heavy I think I can get it on just by the corner gloves are way too slick. Yeah. There we go. Not too bad and still got the cord attached. I'll pick up this mess here. like all trash and no metal for the rest of this. Yep. Yeah, I haven't been finding any metal in this one lately, but they got another one a little bit further down. I'll take a look at that one. That's where I've been finding all the metal. Just all cardboard. The next day, and this is what the back of the truck looks like. So this I picked up on the way home. It was sitting on the side of the road like it had fallen off of somebody's vehicle. And it does look to be in bad shape. But the rest of this, even though I thought it was a light scrapping day, ended up being quite a bit of value. So let me get this all sorted out and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I'm at the point where I need to start cleaning this stuff up. 
shred material staying in the truck because I need to go to the yard and drop this stuff off. A couple of chairs I found off camera, other shred material that I came across. All the ballast, that's about 30 pounds there. I get about 15 to 19 cents a pound, which is double my shred price. So I go ahead and take those off if it is worth my time. This here was the score of the night. So I think two dumpsters, I found a majority of that stuff in. Some of it's still on the spool. That's at least 30 pounds by weight. So $1.50 a pound at minimum I get for that stuff. So $45 just in that tote right there. More shred material, a little bit of conduit. This stuff, you know, I pull this all the time, but it really doesn't add up weight wise. I, I don't know why I pull it. it. I guess it's just easy. And a lot of times there's number one in it. And in this case, about a third of that had number one in it. So that's in that bucket. Got a few dollars of number one in there, as well as a little bit of other miscellaneous wire and then some miscellaneous stuff there. Aluminum breakage for that. I've got all these light bulbs. I did post some of these on Facebook. I don't know if I'm gonna get any hits or not. I'm selling them for what I think is cheap, but I'm going up, I'm visiting family here soon and I sent them a text and they can actually use some of these. So I've got sisters and my parents that want some. So they're gonna have a lifetime supply, but they're nice chandelier bulbs, standard base, small base, and work great in ceiling fans, vanities, things of that nature. So that will come in handy for them. Here is aluminum extrusion that I found. I pulled that out of a bunch of shred. I didn't realize there was aluminum in there, but just need to cut a little bit of wire off of that. And I have a few pounds of extrusion as well as that cast piece there. This is gonna come in handy. So that's a stainless steel sink. I'm not gonna trash that. I'm gonna use that in the back as part of a planting station for my girlfriend. And then this here I found off camera. This is a really nice aluminum plate, nicely welded uh, step. It's even still got the rubber feet on it. So I don't know what the weight rating is on this obviously, but it seems to be pretty sturdy. Not something that I wanna trash. So I'm gonna sell it for a few bucks on Facebook if I can. And if I can't, I'll find somebody else that can use it. That's just a nice enough type of thing that I don't wanna scrap something like that even for the couple of bucks that I'd get out of it. So we'll just see how that goes. So overall, not too bad of an evening. That wire definitely made it all worthwhile, but got a little bit more value on top of that. So I will take it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.